Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. Today we have along with us Dr. Ramanan Jagtap from the Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai. Welcome to Polymer Update, Dr. Jagtap. Well, many of you may have read about him and his inventions in the newspapers, but today he is here on Polymer Update exclusively to throw light on his invention of food safe bioplastics that comes with an expiry date and it is the need of the hour. Well, Dr. Ramanan Jagtap, with the growing tensions surrounding on how to deal with humongous plastics waste, it has indeed become a priority to cut down plastics usage and look for better and sustainable solutions. The launch of your product, Bioplastics, provides a bright ray of hope. Well, what are your thoughts on the general acceptance of bioplastics, both globally and specifically in India? Basically, those polymers are biocompostable. I mean, this polymer will, after its use, will degrade only in presence of specific temperature, moisture and microorganisms. Or in short, this material when you throw it on the open landfill as a waste, then this material will not degrade. A city like Mumbai, they are not having enough amount of biocomposter. Secondly, the capacity of this biocomposter is very limited. To my knowledge, it is about 5 to 10 tons. Whereas, a city like Mumbai is generating about 7000 tons of waste. And for biodegradation, it requires about 45 to 60 days. So, the composting facility which is available, it is inadequate. Therefore, this biopolymers in a country like India will be a biggest challenge for us. Moreover, these biopolymers would be about minimum three times expensive compared to the conventional polymer. So what is the chemical agent that you have infused with the plastics in order to make it a good safe bioplastic? We have developed a catalyst which is completely a patented catalyst which on dispersion forms uh, nano sized particles which increases a very high surface volume compared to its weight and therefore this material is having higher catalytic activity. Moreover, this material is completely biosafe as it will not react with food products or contaminate the land and soil. Well, in one of your interviews, you had said that this bioplastic doesn't need a preset environment. Can you please elaborate on this? Yeah, biodegradable materials requires a specific temperature, moisture and microorganisms. Okay. Whereas considering the Indian conditions and Indian habit, we have developed a catalyst. This catalyst will be added before molding of this polymer and the concentration of the catalyst will be decided by the life of the air product. Initially it was a hydrocarbon it no longer remains hydrocarbon with the infusion of oxygen atom into it. Now this low molecular weight material which becomes completely polar, this becomes a food for the microorganisms and therefore when you throw this material in the open landfill, this material in presence of sunlight it will degrade and on degradation this microorganisms will completely eat away those polymers okay and therefore I propose that this material would be better than uh, biodegradable polymers. You must have heard about the recent protest by Maharashtra's dairy sector uh, when in order to stop the sale of milk in uh, plastic pouches. Well, selling 85 lakh litres of milk in glass bottles every day in Maharashtra alone seems very disagreeable. Well, do you think the launch of your bioplastic will prove as a boon for the dairy industry? Yeah, definitely. This could be the first applications wherein we can target. Basically the catalyst what we have prepared is of nano size and because of nano size the plastic what we are developing it is having better mechanical thermal and barrier property. Therefore we can propose that to have same kind of applications you can utilize thinner plastics and the strength of this plastic will always uh, will remain the same. And therefore, consumption of polymer in this case will also be brought down. Moreover, this plastics 
will be uh, lower in polyethylene material stronger therefore this material would be more preferred moreover cost of this polymer would not be exorbitant high something like a biopolymers and therefore this material would be a big boon for milk pouches industry correct so so, so what makes this plastic non toxic in nature yeah in this case as i told you initially we have done a proper product survey and we have received the information based on the information we know what is the limitation of existing technology and considering this limitations we have tried to develop a better product which is chemically inert moreover this technology what we have developed is a patentable technology therefore there would be a limitation from my side to tell you the detail about that this catalyst well thank you mr jagtap and you too dear viewers for joining us on polymer update for more interesting stories on polymers and petrochemicals stay tuned to polymer update thank you